What's up everyone and welcome back to another goddamn gorgeous video. Damn son. Oh my freaking god. Today I'm gonna show you the best OBS Studio streaming settings. Let's jump right into it. Alright, the first thing I want you to do is to jump into your OBS Studio settings. So either you click here on the settings tab down here or go to file and click on settings. Alright, and then this tab should pop up. So now we really don't want to play with this right now. We are more focusing on the streaming settings and stuff. But if you have some preferences that you want to change here, just do that. But we're just going to go ahead and click on the stream tab. All right. Now this is actually very important because this can really affect your stream badly. Um, but overall, it just it affects your stream, right? So first off you will have to pick streaming services or custom streaming services but if you're using twitch or something like that just pick streaming services and then we go to the service tab where you can pick which service you want to stream on so if you for instance want to, to oh, if you for instance <laughs> if you for instance want to, to uh, stream on twitch then pick twitch and if you want to stream on youtube pick YouTube all right, but I'm just gonna go with twitch because that's what I want to stream on So let's go with that now if your service is not popping up just click and show all services and you should see a lot more services and That was a lot of times. I said services. Oh my god Anyways, so now you will have to pick the server and this is very important Now for you, it's probably gonna say auto which is recommended but I absolutely do not recommend that because um, this is this can get really bad on your stream because um, if it's going to pick a city that is close to you, which has a bad um, 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 speed and a bad upload speed, uh, then your stream is going to lag as hell and it's just not going to look good. So what I want you to do is to go to this link which is in the description and then just scroll the whole way down until you see this twitch test 1.4 zip now click on that and you will either need 7 zip or winrar to get access to this exe that you will need so now if we click on ok here you should see this twitch test.exe so now i want you to pick now obviously we are, we're streaming on twitch but find your stream key and then just paste it in here so now if you're living in in europe which i do then we don't need all of these so just uncheck them and if you live in the united states pick that and uncheck the others because you really don't need any of these others all right so once you did that just click on start and then it should give you all these servers in the in uh, in europe and then it's going to give you a bandwidth test of the different cities now some of these servers that are close to you might have a really really bad um uh, a really bad uh, upload speed or or just connection overall so uh, if we could find something that has 2k or something like that and you're picking that and that's one of the closest cities to you your stream is really gonna lag if you want to stream high quality because this is what we need for the bit rates and stuff so now i live in denmark so frankfurt germany that's the closest and great oh, oh my god and closest and best city for me and of course we have Stockholm Sweden which is also close to me I have done this test and I know Stockholm has a really good bandwidth for me so now I'm just gonna board it and exit it so once you found a server that is close to you which has a really good bandwidth so as as long as it's just over 5,000 everything should be good all right, so pick that server, just exit, and then open OBS Studio. So now I want you to pick the server that you just saw the best bandwidth on. So uh, for me, it would be Stockholm, because once I did the test, it had one a bandwidth of 10,000 plus. So that's a really good server for me. So that's what I'm choosing from. All right, so now to stream on Twitch, for instance, you will have to paste your stream key in here and make sure that you're not showing this stream key to anyone else because if they have your key they will be able to stream on your twitch so make sure this is hidden all right and that's it for this step now i want you to go to the output tab 
and uh, now I can't I cannot access some of these options because I'm recording with OBS studio right now but that doesn't matter I can explain it to you so for you the output mode if you just uh, install OBS studio it's probably gonna say simple um, so click here and then pick advanced because we really want to go in depth into our settings and really choose what we want so pick advanced so once you did that go to streaming and um, then you should have all these settings around here and those are almost the only settings we have to play with so let's start with audio track you do not really need any of the other audio tracks well depends on what you want what you want to do but just pick one that's uh, enough and everything is going to be fine so just pick one you can also pick two or three if you want that but i recommend using one because that's just simple and stuff right and once we did that we are going to the encoder and um, if you click on this it's going to say x264 or nvenc or something else now nvenc is um an nvidia gpu so if you have a gpu your graphics card uh, that is from nvidia it's going to say nvenc now what is actually the difference between this now if you pick nvenc which is the nvidia gpu that you have built into your computer it's going to do all of the encoding into your gpu and um, you can do that of course there's no problem with that but i recommend to pick the x264 because then it's doing all the encoding on your on your cpu but if you want to stream uh high quality streams and you do not really have a good cpu i absolutely recommend to stream through the nvenc options if you have an nvidia gpu all right so that's up to you but i'm just gonna go with x264 now make sure that you have the enforce streaming enforce streaming service encoder settings checked just do that and you're fine now we have the rescale output so this is what you what, that's the quality of what you're going to stream with on twitch or youtube or whatever streaming service you're streaming on so now i want to stream 720p so i'm picking 1280 720 well i'm not doing full hd since my monitor is that and stuff um, that's because 1080p, well, the highest bitrate that Twitch allows is 6000. And for a full HD stream, 6, 000, a bitrate of 6000 is not good. That's really not good enough. It's going to look bad. So that's why I'm not really streaming 1080p. And, and you will see a lot of, oh, sorry, you will see a lot of streamers actually streaming 720p so i absolutely recommend that if you want a stream that actually looks like full hd with no issues at all so i recommend that you can also do 1080p if you want but i'm just gonna go with 720. now one thing more if we just really quick jump over to the video uh, tab is that you have the space and output scaled resolution now base here just pick 1080p if that's your a monitor so if you have a monitor that's uh, 1920 times 1080 uh, then pick that and for the output uh, resolution I recommend to pick the same now if you would uh, choose 720p here instead of in the output settings what, what I just showed you then it's gonna affect all of OBS so if you're just recording for YouTube or something like that it's gonna actually it's actually gonna record um, 720p as well for the recording and I mean if you have the opportunity to to uh, record in 1080p you don't really want 720 so just leave this on 1920 times 1080 if that's the size of your monitor now the downscale filter just pick Lanzos or something else I recommend Lanzos I absolutely love it um, and then you should be fine and the FPS value, that's going to affect your upload speed as well. And now that's one thing I totally forgot to mention. I'll just get back to that. Um, so the common FPS value, it's going to affect your upload speed. So if you not really have a good upload speed, I would go with 30 FPS. I mean, if you're playing an FPS game, it's not really going to look that good. But to have a good stream, I recommend using 30 FPS. Since I have a high upload speed, I'm uh, using 60 FPS because <laughs> I can and I want to stream 60 FPS. So um, 
it's up to you. All right, now let's go back to the output settings. So now we are at the rate controls and all of these settings here. Now rate con control, I absolutely recommend to use constant bitrate. I do not really recommend any of the others in Twitch and YouTube and almost all streaming services, they are really recommending constant bitrate. So go with that. Um, I absolutely recommend it as well. Now let's go to the bitrate settings. Now that's where your upload speed is coming into place. So now I want you to go to this link, which is also in the description of this video and um, speedtest.net. So then this window should pop up. Now just click on go and it's going to test your internet connection. So now it's going to test the download speed of my internet, which is on around 100 megabits per second. And right after that, it's going to test the upload speed, which is for me around 25 megabits per second. Now note that uh, this changes a lot. Uh, while streaming and stuff and when someone else in your house is now I don't know why the hell this is so low It usually is 25. I can guarantee you that now. This is now. This is okay. Okay. I know It says six right now. Usually it's much more wait. Let me just do it. I'm, I'm not fine with that I'm not fine with that. I want to see my 25 megabits per second. All right, so please let me do that Give me a second until I got it now yeah there you go man that's what i was talking about so again i have a download speed on around uh, 100 megabits per second and a, an upload speed on around 25 megabits per second and upload speed is what you have to focus on that's what you need to actually stream so this is a really good upload speed um five is what you just is what you need at least so i absolutely recommend like if you want to stream then i would say you really need something that is on around five megabits per second so now that you know this we can go back to obs studio now we have to play with the bit rates like okay oh sorry okay so twitch only allows a bit rate of six thousand which is the highest amount for twitch so 1080p with a bitrate of 6000 which is the highest amount that they allow isn't really not gonna look good so that's why we're going with 720p now and that's why if if 6000 is the highest amount and we're picking 720p it's gonna look really good it's almost like a 1080p stream all right so now we have to play with this and let's say if your your um, upload speed is on around 6 megabits per second if you have a upload speed on that i recommend to set the bit rate on 3000 your stream is going to look totally fine with that and it's going to look good but if you take something that's above your upload speed you can't stream that because that's not going to look good because well you can't stream that it's going to lag as hell and it's just not going to work out so you will have to pick the health of your um um, of your uh, upload speed, but since it only allows 6,000 uh, on Twitch and I have something on 20, 25 uh, an upload speed of 25 megabits per second. I'm just going with 6,000. So I'm just changing it really quick. Oops. There you go. And then we are just going down to the use custom buffer size. Now the use custom buffer size is not really something you need. You can of course play with that but i do not really recommend that you can do it if you want to but it's gonna make your stream really noisy and stuff and it's gonna drop the frames in a little bit and stuff so i do not recommend to use a custom buffer size so just leave like it is uncheck it if it's checked and now let's go down to the keyframe interval now most streaming services they are using an keyframe interval of one or two and if you want to be safe just change this to two and i recommend this as well because almost all streaming services need a keyframe interval of two so pick two two to, to be safe sorry <laughs> all right now let's go down to the cpu usage now if you put this lower than it is it's gonna make your quality of the stream better so this actually also has something to do with the quality of your stream you can't play with this if you're if you have an encoder that's an NVAC or something else then it's not 
then you don't have this option, right? So if you really have a high-end CPU and stuff, you can go with uh, Placebo and that's gonna make your stream <clears throat> so fucking good. So go with Placebo if you have a high-end uh, CPU. But since not all of you have a high-end CPU and stuff, I would go with either fast, faster or very fast. Now these three are which, which I recommend if you put this higher and ultra fast, your stream is gonna be no noisy as hell, damn son. So I absolutely, absolutely recommend to pick one of these three down here. So I'm going with very fast because that's what works best for me. Now let's go to the profiles. So many people think this is really making your quality better of your stream if you put this on high, but that's not really true. Let me really quick explain what this does. If you pick a profile of high, it allows the encoder to use more features that can improve the quality of your stream, but it can also cause playback issues on devices that do not support those. So, and with devices we mean phones, we mean iPads, whatever it can be, right? So if you want to make sure that everything can watch your stream, then choose main. And it's not really gonna affect your quality of your stream, bro. There, there's at least I do not see such a huge difference on these two. But I'm just gonna pick high because I don't think that someone has a phone or something like that that can't uh, watch a stream with a profile of high. So high should be fine. You can just pick that. But if you want to be totally safe, then pick a profile of main. All right, now that's actually it. So let's go to the audio settings, and then we're almost done. Now, I suggest picking a, a sample rate, a sample rate, sorry, of 48 kilohertz, if you want to get the best quality out of it. But if you if you really can't, uh, if you really don't have a, a great upload speed and stuff, then go with 44 kilohertz. Sorry, um, and that's totally fine. There's almost no difference on these two, but this is this is better than 44 kilohertz. So I'm just gonna go with that. You can also just pick the other one. It's still, it's both really good. Now you just need to pick your audio device. So the speakers that you have connected to your computer, choose those, pick them, and that's it. And that's the same with the mic down here. You only have one mic connected right now, or I believe you do. So only pick your mic just one time. So you don't need to have the same mic uh, picked here several times. So you don't really need that you only need these two and that's it so now if we go to video oh yeah we already played with that again just put it on your resolution this here because as i said this is what is uh going to be that's what your stream is going to be all right so just leave it like it is here like i told you before and that's actually it so um, I really hope this tutorial helped you out with uh, receiving the best quality for Twitch or whatever you're streaming on, just general streaming. So really hope these settings helped you with finding the right streaming settings. So um, yeah, if you need any help, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna support you as much as I can. If you need any help, just let me know. And as I'm saying, if you need help, you receive help. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Adios, amigas!